All right, guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Div by Div. Today is going to be very exciting because we are going to create a custom video player by using React.js and Video.js. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, here is what we're going to see at the end as a result. I'm going to mute the video and uh, here there is uh, this video player that is the integrated with uh, um, Video.js in a React app application. Now from here we have uh, the base look for it but uh, we can uh, enable different kind of themes that uh, we can download and just use out of the box or if we want to dedicate uh, some more customization we also can override some of the CSS properties and Video.js as a small example of how we can do that by changing some SAS variables. I already created the project and I'm going to walk you through the code. If you want to follow me along, please create a React application with MPX Create React App. If you want, you can use just React or React with TypeScript. Uh, if you don't know how to create a React with TypeScript application, I have a, a video that I will link below and uh, I will add it as a card here. So once you have the project ready, what well, the only addition that I made uh, are initially adding a video MP4 because it's the one that you want to display in the page. Then uh, we have uh, in our app JS, basically we are importing uh, the app CSS. Uh, uh, we are importing the video.js which is a component uh, that uh, we are going to build and uh, the video mp4 as a source of uh, the video that we want to play. As additional options uh, we are creating a video.js options where the autoplay is false uh, but you can put it as true and if it's false uh, it's actually the default so you don't want to even uh, uh, added then the controls are true and the sources you can add the multiple ones for simplicity i just added the video mp4 one that we have here on the top and i'm passing the type of the video that uh, we are going to um, watch so and as a returning value we just return a div with the class name app and our video.js component with the video.js options as the option prop for the css part uh, here is pretty simple I just need to uh, style a little bit the body. I wanted to have, uh, you know, the player in the middle of the screen and a nice background uh, gradient. And so I just set it up in this way. You can set it up as you like. And uh, just for the video GS, which is the wrapper of the player, I, I want to set up like a, a width, uh, the how to height. Uh, and I set up uh, also the aspect ratio uh, 16 by nine and display block and margin zero auto. Now I think the margin zero alt and display block I can remove it because I don't really need it. Oh, if you notice that my code is on fire, so when I type, you see the flames. Uh, check out uh, my video that I will link in the description below to how to set up your VS Code to have the same effect. So uh, removing this, uh, um, I want to con I want to dedicate uh, one more moment uh, on the aspect ratio property. In this video, I'm not going to the details uh, on uh, how to handle aspect ratio when it's not supported uh, as a property, but I have uh, a full video for that. Uh, and I'm going to details uh, on the difference between uh, the aspect ratio and also other ways to set the aspect ratio when the aspect ratio property is not um, supported from the browser so check it out i'll link in the description below as well cool so from here i want to go to the video gs which is actually our component for the video player don't care for now to the commented code because it's the one that i'm going to uncomment selectively to show you the different themes that we can apply and also the custom theme that you could actually work on and it's going to change your player style based on your brand or the brand that uh, uh, is in the website where you want to integrate uh, this uh, player. So let's go to the logic first. Uh, in the top, we just uh, import uh, video.js from video.js. 
and uh, uh, the main CSS from the vendor folder. Now you can say, well, wait a second, like where is the video.js coming from? And so you're right, we need to import uh, the video.js uh, uh, distribution folder. And to do that, uh, we just need to run a simple command in your console. If you're using npm, it's going to be npm install dash dash save dev video.js because you want it as a dev dependency. After you run that command, then you can easily import in your component video.js and the related CSS. Back to the code, uh, once you have uh, the video.js imported, you want to um, receive the options as a prop and also the team name that uh, I have here uh, as default C, but since we don't have the C team uh, uncommented yet, it's not going to be applied, but don't worry about it right now. Let's just make sure that we have a reference to the video and a reference to the player and that uh, in our use effect uh, we want to uh, basically initialize our video player uh, with the video.js uh, library by passing the element uh, where we want to render basically the player and the options that we defined in our app uh, um, jsx file. And then uh, we set up also a return function, which is like a, a cleanup function that is going to be executed once uh, the uh, component uh, gets uh, unmounted from uh, the DOM. And in this case, we want to dispose the player and set the player ref to null. And to conclude, we're going to add uh, as dependencies of the use effect, uh, the options, video ref and the player ref as well. Now, the juicy part is that we just return a video tag uh, with a video ref and um, we just need to have the attribute data vjs player and uh, the class videojs in our video tag so that uh, the different styling are going to be applied. Now we also want to have uh, the vjs big play centered because we want the play button in the center of the screen. And then uh, there is an additional class that is about the team where I made it dynamic so that we can switch between teams and I can show you how they look out of the box. But before going there, uh, I want to show you basically how to import the team in your project because also on this one you want to run an npm command to import our teams. Here we are in the repository where there are the video.js teams and uh, here is going to say, okay, how to import them in your project. But before that, you want to run this command, which is npm install save video.js at video.js slash teams. In this way, it's going to import the folder with all the teams, and then you can use whatever you like in your project. All right, let's test the teams. Now, as you see here, we have the team name as default as C. So that means that I can just uncomment the C um, CSS and uh, we're gonna navigate to the browser and see what's the result. All right you see that the play button is a little different uh, and then uh, here also the controls uh, are styled differently from the basic option which is kind of cool so if you like this look you can just use this out of the box and you don't need to customize more the player. Now let's uh, uh, look at another one and in this scenario, we're going to go with the forest. So we're going to just change here the default to forest uh, and comment uh, the forest one. And let's go back to the browser. From here, you see that uh, the play button also changed again as a style. It's now a green and semi-transparent. If we click play, also the icons for the volume, the pause button and the uh, trace here are changing and also this is like a cool style you can probably add some more overrides to uh, change the color from green to the color that is your brand or the uh, website brand that you're integrating this to otherwise it looks very good let's check out another one and in this case it's gonna be fantasy we're gonna check this out uh, and uh, uncomment the fantasy CSS and go back to the browser. This is also cool. There is like the button that is just the play without the circle around it. If we click on it uh, as a more uh, uh, solid um, 
style and um, yeah this is also pretty cool let's check out the last one and uh, we go to the city so let's change the city comment out the fantasy and uncomment the city one let's go back to the browser and the city one is actually the play button is kind of the same of the standard one but if you see uh, the the other controls are a little bit uh, minimized and uh, there is the timing uh, in the left the pause uh, and play in the center then the volume uh, which is also a cool shape uh, then the picture in picture full screen uh, controls as well and the line is similar to the youtube look uh, apart the icons that are different but what if uh, you don't like uh, either the standard team or all the teams that we just uh, uh, saw together there is uh, another option where is actually customize entirely the player as you like and uh, there is uh, an easy customization that you can make uh, uh, by just changing a few variables that are written in uh, uh, SAS in this case and uh, VideoJS uh, will offer uh, an example that uh, I brought in this project <coughs> uh, where we can just change some variable uh, values and the style of the player will change accordingly with those so for this uh, we're gonna just remove uh, all the CSS uh, uh, related with the templates that we just uh, used until now and we can uncomment the custom team as css this is a file that i created and i copy paste the example there that was uh, in one of the resources uh, um, that are provided from video.js i will also link uh, to the description below all the references uh, to the documentation that uh, i'm mentioning in this video so don't worry about it you can check it out uh, after this video finish or you can check it out uh, while this video is playing up to you cool so uh, let's go back to the custom team as CSS as you see if we open it up um, we have uh, some comments uh, that are nice to read uh, um, and uh, basically it's gonna tell us that by changing the primary foreground color um, to a different one uh, we can uh, basically change the aspect uh, of uh, our video player the same for the font sizes now let's uh, look one second and what's the standard style for the player and then let's play around with changing things okay so if we look back uh, of the player here you see that this is the basic style and this is how it displays without uh, any override and uh, just with the standard css that is applied to this video okay now let's go back to the editor and change uh, one of the variables uh, or more than one and here for example uh, we're gonna change the primary color to red then the primary background color to white and then uh, the font size from 10 to I don't know um, 20 pixels okay and let's see how it looks like all right as you see we have applied our changes now the font size uh, is um, a little bigger as you see uh, the icons are also bigger the background is white uh, with some transparency and uh, the text is actually red including icon and uh, other labels uh, in the controls this is not probably the look that you want to go for but uh, is just to show you that you can uh, um, customize as you like uh, by just changing those variables first and then you are always uh, and always uh, as a developer the um, option to basically just inspect your page look at the uh, elements that you have in the page uh, you can inspect those um, you can see okay this is the uh, uh, the player with the video.js class has all this css uh, feel free to just uh, override uh, the uh, styling as you want but i will go with the first two options first uh, because usually it's not a good practice to overwrite too much the styling and sometimes uh, you need to be more specific and sometimes you're gonna use important to actually override the styles of the library which is fine in uh, in the case is needed but if you can avoid it, it would be the best now there is one more thing that i want to tell you about the custom team css 
which is basically uh, that in the React application, SAS is supported, but you need to import uh, uh, the SAS module in order to actually uh, make this code run correctly. So to do that, uh, it's very simple. You're gonna go back to your terminal and you want to run this command, npm install SAS, or if you're using yarn, you can do yarn add SAS. From there on, you may need to stop your uh, React application server and then uh, just do um, just write npm start again. And then uh, next time you refresh the page, uh, your SAS is going to be interpreted correctly and uh, your React application is going to run without any issue. All right. So I hope that you like this video. Now you know how to create uh, a custom VideoJS uh, player that is integrating in a React application. And uh, it's going to take uh, probably five to 10 minutes to integrate this. Uh, and uh, you can play around from there to add your custom style or by apply one of the templates that I show you today. And uh, all the links will be in the description below. So it's going to be pretty easy for you. As usual, uh, happy coding and I'll see you next time. Ciao.